Guys, welcome to What's Barking Local. It's great to be with you on a Wednesday. Thank you kindly for joining us. Yay. My name is Jerry Miller. What's Barking Local? <laughs> the water cooler of everything animal oh, in boy. Charlottesville, <laughs> Almoral County, in <laughs> Central Virginia. What's Barking Local powered by Animal Connection for more than 17 years. Yay Animal dogs. Connection has been your epicenter for animals in Central Virginia. Find them online at animalconnectionva.com. I think on that note, we'll go to the entrepreneur, the business owner, the visionary behind Animal Connection. Good gracious. Patty Bowden, how are you? We're good, we're good. Having a busy, busy, busy week. Good, and that's a perfect segue into what we should be doing. Absolutely. The week that was. The week that was. Well, we had big fun uh, last week at the Brewer's Ball. I mean, who doesn't like beer when you're fundraising uh, for cystic fibrosis? And we provided some pretty nifty gifts and a gift bag, and that was fun. And and we spent last week and this week, we're preparing for Take Your Dog to Work Day. I love it. Yeah, and you guys have a great dog here at work. You have Liza we do. here every day. And- um, Did you guys see Liza? <laughs> we yeah. did. Okay. Everybody met okay. Liza. <laughs> so, uh, you know, we want to encourage everybody to, you know, ask your employer if you can bring your dog to work on Friday. It's really easy. Um, you know, we can help you with, if you need to know what to bring, you know, like uh, snacks, ID collars, leashes, a little bed for them to sleep on, you know, whatever you need. We can help you get set up with that. And there's information about that on our Facebook page. And we are having a contest this week. We want to know who is the most dog friendly business in Charlotte. So, yeah. So you go to our Facebook page and name the business, put some pictures down of, uh, of dogs in that workplace and, and share it up. And, you know, let's, let's see who brings dogs to work. If the winner is going to get delivered to their business, uh, goodie bags for all the dogs, treats for all the people. Ooh. So it's going to be really, really kind of fun. Goodie bags and treats. Goodie, Patty I, 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 frozen treats. There might even be ice cream for dogs and might ice cream for people. We're going to make it really good and something they're going to really enjoy. Christmas and the summer for Los Pedros. Oh, uh, yeah. That's right. Los Pedros. Yep. Uh, that's where yeah. you. <laughs> <laughs> I had to think about that one for a minute. I speak French. That's literally right. <laughs> like, oh, my goodness. So uh, speaking of Christmas, we're also getting ready for Christmas in July for Caring for Creatures. Uh, we'll be collecting food and supplies for things that they need all July. And um, in previous years, we've had as much as 6,000 pounds of food donated. So, you know, we really want to make this a big push for these guys. They rely, you know, they run out of food after all these Christmas donations in December, so uh, they, they could kind of use a little love. So we'll, you know, more on that next week. I love it. I love it. First right. sizzle reel from the show right there. Turn that into a highlight clip, please, Harris Tolbert. Right. Why don't we, as Harris goes to the studio cam, yeah. introduce our guests? Absolutely. So, you know, pet tech is kind of all the rage, all the buzz right now. And we have two experts here from Crutchfield, uh, Emily and Dazzy, uh, and they know the deal on, uh, they have a division there called Unleashed, where they've got all kinds of, I don't know, cameras, toys, this and that and the other. They've done some pretty cool research on what works and what doesn't. Um, they have some products that were really good and products that maybe that didn't work so well and, and people, are going to want to know about some of these things that have been on the market. You know, are they good or are they a dog? You know, no pun intended. But um, but uh, That's yeah. That's good copywriting. Right there. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I know. So um, anyway, we're going to talk about that and uh, see what else is happening at Crutchfield. Emily and Dea in the yeah. house. First, right. I want to say yeah. thank you for joining us. Glad to be here. Thanks uh, for having us. Then I'd like to say introduce the world to uh, <laughs> you, passions, hobbies, interests, what you guys love about Central Virginia, and then we will get into the uh, pet space and the pet chatter. Emily, why don't you go first? Okay, well, a lot of what I love is um, the, the dog-friendly friendly culture here. Um, I've been a volunteer dog walker at the shelter for about 10 years. Mm -hmm. um, my husband and I go every weekend uh, and walk all the dogs there, so um, that's near and dear to my heart, so anybody who's doing stuff for pets and dogs and cats in Central Virginia, I'm all about it. <laughs> I love it. Charles Walmo, SPCA. Yes. Uh, fantastic. Do you have a favorite type of dog? Oh. The American so, classic, as we call them here? I, <laughs> if you volunteer at our shelter, it's almost inevitable that you'll end up with a pit and a hound. And I have one of each. And I have an extra foster hound right now as well. 
and two cats. So we have a full house at my house. All I right. love it. We love <laughs> to hear go. that. Mm-hmm. Day, I introduce yourself to the world, please. Oh, also an animal lover. Um, I've got a dog and, and six cats currently. Get out of town. Plus nine beta fish. I'm, okay. I'm pretty into fish. Dog and six cats <laughs> plus nine fish. That's a lot of animals right there. That's 16. Yeah, it's a few. Um, <laughs> Yeah, I didn't mean to. I I only meant to have three cats, but then three stray cats showed up last okay. year. So yeah, right. um, they know where to go. They were nice, and yeah, <laughs> yeah, they definitely know where to go. Um, <laughs> but yeah, uh, other than that, I am very into photography. Um, love doing animal photos and wildlife. Surprisingly, not. And uh, yeah, she's got a great article on uh, on the Crutchfield site about how to get great shot uh, photos of your pets. That's no right. easy task. Yeah, it's, really, it's a really helpful, yeah. fun article, too. Yeah. With well, lots some of the of pictures you sent us to, that we, we'll mm-hmm. be showing on screen are you uh, them, with yeah. the Crutchfield dogs. Yeah. The, the, yeah. yeah. Mm-hmm. yeah one reason we yeah. want to bring Crutchfield in is because they have a super cool workplace environment oh. for dogs. And it, how many do you suppose come every day? I mean, I think Shalene We've said something like, count. "Yeah, we um, were trying 10, to like 20, mark, something I mean, like that." I would say m- possibly more than that. I yeah. mean, because we had like maybe just six on our floor, which um, and yes. the sales floor below us has mm-hmm. like way more, and, and then like marketing has more. So like yeah. each level has like I don't know a wolf pack. Yeah, yeah a lot. Pretty of much. Dogs. Really blown up in the last couple of it's years. Really yeah. Fun. yeah. Now you, that since we got nice our dog facilities park. for people mm-hmm. that bring dogs too. What what do you have? We've got, well, we just put in Woofer Park. Um, it's, it's our dog Day park. Ours. It's got a nice tree in it, too, for shade. Mm-hmm. Um, and so you can, I just, even before I was bringing my dogs in, I like to look out the window and see, like, oh, who's playing in the park, you know, and go visit them. Isn't that um, cool? It's really, it is cool. really yeah. fun. John Evans is giving us some props right now. Peter Markish, thank you for watching the program. Hello, Jonathan Galasso. I would like to throw this to you. Um, not, we're going to get to the pet culture. Um, I'm, you know, very high strung, a little OCD, somewhat of a perfectionist. Jerry, you? Since what? Liza the dog has come to the office, <laughs> although these gentlemen may disagree, uh, I feel like it's made the vibe in the office a little bit more chill and like laid back. The energy is a little more heady and positive. So I certainly want to talk about how dogs can help um, a company culture and make it better. I would love to learn more about that article on the Crutchfield website about dog photography. Because I have two German Shepherds, and I love to capture photography of the Germans. It is no easy task (laughs) getting dog photography. No, it's not. Well, they don't sit. Yeah. Yeah. (laughs) And you, like, want everything to be the perfect because they're, like, your children. Yeah. Talk to me about that. The great thing is, yeah, and a lot of the guidelines for dog photography also apply to kid photography. Okay. Oh, boy. It's like a twofer. You Um, need this, Jerry. (laughs) You So, I mean, probably the most basic rule, I mean, because you just you know the rules so that you can break them but the most basic thing is to get down on their level um you know down on the ground like i have been on my belly before you know taking pictures of dogs and that's how you get their facial expression um same exact thing with kids like if you're shooting them from above you're not getting very interesting shots you're getting like the top of their head um so number one rule get down on their level when you can um, okay. Yeah. Hey, folks, we have a leaf blower outside. This is this is called <laughs> doing a show in this in the big city of Charlotte. On the downtown so, mall. Right. Um, get down on their level. <laughs> yes, that's number one rule, and it's probably the first thing I have in that article. I yeah. think. Um, yes. <laughs> What's light, that? Well, what are the top three rules? Gosh, I, off the top of my head, I'm not sure. I one of definitely praise and treats and patience. Um, those are all really. I'm trying important. to remember. I just read your article again not that um, long ago because it's just. It's always fun. I like looking at the dog photos. But I know you mentioned, like, get them in their own environment having fun. Yeah. Um, so if they like to swim, get them, you know. Doing in, their in, yeah. yeah. Or, you know, just p- mm-hmm. playing fetch mm-hmm. with a stick. Um, and lighting is key. Like, outside is helpful. Yeah. Yeah, I had tips for indoor light versus outdoor light. Yeah, um, town. And, yeah. yeah. You spent some time on this wow. thing. <laughs> well, I did, yeah. It was a labor of love. <laughs> and move <laughs> fast. <laughs> I love it. How about the dynamic? And, Patty, I'm going to get you in the mixer. How about the dynamic with a uh, copywriter and an editor um, at a dog-friendly culture like Crutchfield? What's the day-to-day like for you guys? I'm curious. <laughs> Mostly fun. Yeah. Um, we have a lot of fun. A lot yeah. of laughs, um, especially if one of us brings a dog. Um, we don't often bring our own dogs, but she's been bringing a foster dog in um, 
for a couple weeks, and it's been really cool seeing him come out of his shell. Yeah. And also, when my dog was a puppy, I brought her a lot, and that it was just priceless for for socialization. Yeah. Um, I should have done that with the Germans. She now there's not a person she doesn't love. She wants to run up to everybody. She's because everyone at Crutchfield is so nice when they see a dog too. Um, <laughs> And it's, it's, it's fun, like, even if you're not bringing your dog, and even if people, um, we work with Alexis, our, one of our social media people, and um, she can't have dogs where she lives, but she loves dogs, so it's mm -hmm. a treat for her to, like, just be around dogs and, you know, have fun yeah. uh, with dogs at work. And it's a stress reliever, you know, you yeah. know that. Like, just like you said, it makes it more There's relaxed a... and just, like, eases the tension yeah. a little bit. Yeah. And not that... What we do is that stressful, but I mean, there are days. There has our days. Yeah, there are right? days. Yeah. There's For just sure. a huge like emotional support sort of aspect to having dogs around, and hard to explain. But even when I started at Crutchfield like almost 10 years ago, um, they didn't have as many dogs around, but there were dogs, and and that was so cool. Like just to go spend time with. I, I knew I could go down to the photo studio and pet Nina, you know, on my break, and that it was nice. What do you nice. think of Patty? I love that. I mean, it was it, having animals in the workplace is just, it's just good for everyone to just relax. I mean, you meet at, you know, there's one company I know that has um, where the snack bar is for people and the coffee bar is. There's water bar and treats for dogs. I mean, you know, it's just part of the social culture too. I mean, you need to get along with people that you work with and, and uh, the dogs are just part of the mix. I love it. And I, talk mm. to us about the park. I mean, you guys have a, a dog park adjacent to the building? Mm -hmm. I mean, that is totally yeah. like a perk of yeah, the job. for sure. I mean, we have lots of trails through the woods too, but it's nice having the fence. By the airport? Yeah, okay. yeah. Okay. Um, yeah. It's nice having the fenced in area just because, Totally. you know, walking on leash doesn't always get them enough exercise. Right. So a lot of times people on the sales floor might coordinate on their break. Like we're gonna take both our dogs and go and run. just let them run around and then they'll be come back and be exhausted so that everybody can get more work done too. Because <laughs> right. they can be distracting sometimes. Yeah, and a tired dog is a good dog. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. And they really cut up in the dog park. It's hilarious to yeah. watch them sometimes. She's gotten some amazing photos yeah. of them having fun out there. Are you able to test the Crutchfield product on the dogs in the office? If so, oh, yeah. how? Oh, Put it yeah. in perspective. Um, yeah, all kinds of things. Yeah, um, we get samples of a lot of things that we get to try because obviously bring home and use on our yeah, dogs or try it's easier to write about something if you've been able to try. Of course. It. Oh, yeah. yeah. So if like for example, I've taken something home and it might not work with my dog. I'll be like, Dea, do you want to try this with Fern? Because um, dogs have different temperaments Fern, and okay. different interests. And um, for sure, we have a border collie who comes in sometimes with one of our designers who is, I mean, basically like she's a magnificent she's doggy model. Yes. Oh. <laughs> she's so good at, she, her mom has taught her all these commands. Like she even does backup. Like if you're trying to get a better shot of her, mm -hmm. um, she's so playful. She knows take a break. Yeah. yeah. I mean, it's basically cheating dogs. to use so, her. Yeah, yeah, she's really good. The border collie, and jump in here, border collies, you gotta keep tired. Oh my gosh, you, they, are, they are the busiest animal right. I've ever met in my life. Right. They are just busy. Busy in their mind, busy in their body, mm -hmm. they're just, Busy. What is the coolest <laughs> product that you guys have utilized? A little pressure right here. Oh, that just... two German Shepherds, animal lover. The inspiration of yeah. her, her store was a Chessie. Oh, yeah. Aww. Ernie, the uh, Chesapeake Bay mm -hmm. Retriever. Mm -hmm. uh, coolest products that you've tried? One of my favorite things we don't carry anymore, but Pet it tunes. was yes, it's this little speaker that um, had species specific music for dogs and cats. Species and, specific? Yeah, mm -hmm. but basically really? species specific. So I, I got into trying that. music with the dog because of this product, but it turns out like you you can pretty much play any music for a dog and and have good effect um, as long as you know what type to play. So so like Mozart, for example, will relax your dog. Um, but this little speaker had, it was kind of like spa music for dogs. What? I think and Ernie probably let the clash. It's really helpful. I mean, it, was, it was even relaxing to <laughs> so me. I, but, yeah. If you have an um, anxious dog, so it was really. I tested it. I, my dog at the time was like, terrified of thunderstorms. And she was so big, she'd just hide her little head under a chair and like the rest of her would stick out. And yeah. you know, I, I actually tried pet tunes with her during a thunderstorm and 
it seriously calmed her down. Pet tunes. Oh, yeah. Pet tunes, yeah. And, and you can still anymore, buy but... the music and download it, but and play it over any speakers. And in fact, like once I hooked it up to my stereo, like I had louder speakers, and that even worked better to drown out the storm. Yeah. We know that's um, such a trend now. I and mean, since then, I just use yeah. Mozart, and like it works like a charm. So yeah. It's I like mean, even Sirius has a dog up. channel now. Really? Yeah. Yeah. Yep. They have a dog <laughs> music for dogs, and then there's a dog TV channel. Mm -hmm. yeah, oh yeah. That's on. Um, um, is it Xfinity or what, whatever it is that we get uh, with all these thousands of channels? There's dog TV. Yeah, it's, a, it's a big trend. Mm -hmm. Pet yeah. Tunes is what it was called. It yeah. was called Pet Tunes, but um, well, yeah, it, it, we no longer carry it. Sadly, I think it yeah, doesn't. It just clued exist. me into the fact that music can really help dogs during times of stress, oh, yeah. and I've been using that kind of thing ever since. I mean, I just um, asked um, my Alexa at home, like Alexa, play some, play some dog calming music, and it just came up with a playlist of calming dog music. Oh my so God. there's tons. Yeah. It was a lot of um, instrumental stuff. Okay. Um, there's only a few of them that I was like, skip. <laughs> but mostly it's yeah. pretty soothing for dogs, people, cats even. Mm -hmm. um, yeah. I did a lot of reading up on it too, so I found out quite a few, th like about how different types of music will affect dogs. So if you if you want your dog to be in a good mood, you can play pop music and. <laughs> no yeah, way! No. I had there, no idea. There are a lot of studies about what they respond to, so it's really fascinating. Maybe I should have thrown Alexa stuff. out the window <laughs> like I did. <laughs> no, I get it. I get it. <laughs> Why'd you throw Alexa out? Oh, I got tired of a woman in my house telling me what to do. <laughs> Can't you that. change? No. The, you can change the voice, can't you, of Alexa? Or the, the name? I Am I wrong? I never figured that, that I out. I was I so think, done with her. Oh my God. Maybe. Mine gets triggered if uh, we're watching wrestling because Alexa Bliss is on there. So, oh, like, right. honestly, oh, she crazy. answers sometimes. Oh. So, it, yeah, um, it's pretty funny. It's Carly okay. Tiegler, welcome to the broadcast. Thanks for watching, Carly. Let's give some love to the people that are watching right now. Novi Barons. John Evans is watching right now. Thank you kindly. Malaya Short, we appreciate you watching the show. Give it a like, give it a share. That is a cool toy. How about another super cool toy that I would be blown away by? And guys, Emily and Dea get to try these toys oh, as yeah. part of their job at Crutchfield. It's like being Santa Claus for dogs. I mean, it's a pretty cool job. It is yeah. pretty cool. It is. Yeah. Well, we get, um, so you know cats love laser toys. Um, yeah. And we have a, several of them. Um, like we have a double laser toy, we have one that looks, it actually, it looks like a giant mouse, but actually like a computer mouse, yes. not, <laughs> not, like a yeah, like yeah, and it, 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 it rolls around and has, shoots a laser behind it, <laughs> um, and then, yeah, so those are fun for cats, cats and for dogs lasers. we have um, those interactive, the ricochet toy that um, is weird, uh, our dogs had mixed feelings about it, but Juliet, the border collie at work, was obsessed it. with it. Oh my she God. tossed it around. It, it's like That's a border collie's dream. It sends um. chirps back and forth. So if you pick up one ball, it sends the chirp to the other one, which can be up to 30 feet away. Mm -hmm. And so the dog ro runs and finds the other toy. Um, so it, it's, going it's good for a single dog household <laughs> yeah. to keep them entertained. This One thing amazing. I saw at the Global Pet Show was really fun is uh, something like called an eye fetch. Uh -huh. It had different size balls. Yeah. We talked about for Jack Russells, who are obsessed with this kind of I thing. I was going to bring up the oh eye fetch, actually. What's that? I was going to bring up eye fetch. That, that's oh, actually yeah. the product that kicked off Pet Tech at Crutchfield. So, right. Um, yeah, CEO Bill Crutchfield and his wife, um, Shalene, were mm -hmm. looking at the product. and they, um, Actually, Shalene was the one that launched Pet Tech mm -hmm. for us. Um, because they thought, well, wouldn't that be cool if we if we were able to sell stuff like that? And they loved it because they have a bunch of rescue dachshunds and uh, mm -hmm. like four, I think. Yeah. And uh, they just have a lot of energy, little dogs too. Oh, yeah. And they had this one Lincoln who just was a fanatic for the eye fetch. So we've got some really great video of him going back and forth. And I mean, he knew how to reload the thing. Some dogs learn how to reload it themselves. Others you have to load it for What's them. the eye fetch? Um, it's, it's a ball launcher that, yeah, you've got a picture of it up Right here? Yeah. Get yeah. out. Um, so basically you Good put job, a Harris. ball. <laughs> yeah. to go, Harris. So you put a ball in a little <laughs> hole and then the thing shoots it out by itself. Your dog goes and runs and fetches it. And um, if it's a really motivated dog, it'll come back and put the ball back oh in the my hole. Oh So and you just don't get the going. nasty, soggy ball in your hand. Mm -mm. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Is Unless, that the idea? Kind of. And, and just for the dog to entertain themselves. I mean, with supervision, of course, but... Um, Lincoln, Brilliant. I mean, he could go at that thing for, for like an hour straight and yeah. not stop. And it, just so much energy. And it's so cute. We sent a video, I think, of him. My dogs uh, are just, just running back it and forth with they, it. They're not into fetch. No? <laughs> but for dogs who are, it's amazing. Yeah, but also, I see there was something else, too, where 
it's um, I don't even know the correct technical terms for it, but um, so you're on your phone and you call this whatever this camera or something is at your house, and then you're on screen and your dog sees you, and you can tell your dog sit. And when you do, a treat will dispense. I've seen that one. That's that. awesome. That's crazy. Yeah. 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 <laughs> I, I have cameras that watch like my pets, but I don't have the cool treat dispensing ones. Wow. Yeah. Is it the yeah. Nest type cameras? They are. I have I have different ones. I have I have several because I also write smart home stuff, so I get a lot of cameras. Goes hand in hand with um, cameras, so. It's true. Yeah. <laughs> I have uh, the Logitech Circle 2 and a, a Ring camera. Um, but mm. now we just got this one that's a motion tracking camera, which Whoa. I oh, wish boys. I had because sometimes my dogs will run right out of frame and I'm like, now what are they doing? I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> but this one will see them and it'll, tra camera. it'll track their motion and follow them. So you can see exactly what they're getting up to. <laughs> we did, we did carry a treat dispensing camera for a little, it was one of our first products, but um, I think the manufacturer discontinued it. Oh, so. bummer. Yeah. I, I uh, love the camera concept because um, if cool. I'm work, I'm at work all the time. And you're able to check in. And, yeah. and yours, are you able to speak? Oh, yeah. Two-way yeah. talk. Yeah, two-way yeah. two talk. Mm -hmm. I mean, yeah. that's awesome. It freaked my dogs out at first, but now they Then know. they figured it yeah. out. Talk to <laughs> yeah. us about that. Put it in perspective. A lot of people don't know about this technology yeah. still. Yeah, it was yeah. really cool. Um, so I used to uh, be home with my dogs a lot more. And when I started at Crutchfield, we can bring our dogs, but I have two, so I two's a lot. So I would have to choose, and a lot of times... They just stay at home, um, mm -hmm. but I want to be able to keep an eye on mm -hmm. them and see what they're doing. So I put up some cameras that I got from Crutchfield, and um, yeah, when I see them running around or doing something, I'll be like, hit the two-way talk <laughs> on the app and be like, hey, what are you girls up to? <laughs> <laughs> and they like, stop. <laughs> <in their tracks. laughs> it's really funny. Yeah. yeah, a lot of times she's got her phone at her desk on a stand, and you can see like into her that. living room, and I'm like, I'm like what? What's and when I have foster dogs, <laughs> which I've had a series of rascal foster dogs. And what, they damage get... the home um, or your well, furniture? Um, most of them, no. I okay. did have one who was almost feral, who we had for about five months, and he he did a, he did a almost fair feral? amount of damage. A dog. <laughs> yeah, but I mean, I don't care. You know, like, stuff is stuff uh, right. for the most part. I mean, my records, I was pretty sad about. But um, Your vinyl? Yeah, Shh. but you, we would uh -oh. catch him like moving furniture and dragging blankets and like running around. So I'd be like, hey, look what, and his name's Conrad, which every time so oh. Conrad makes me think, uh -oh. I'm like, look what Conrad's up to at my house. Look what Conrad's up to at the house. <laughs> my current foster dog has not destroyed anything. We say that like you say that all the time, Patty Bowden. Yeah. You, you need a camera. You got oh, Patty Bowden flushing over here. <laughs> Conrad's with us. Yeah. Oh, okay. Look what Conrad's with us. With a K, not a C. Oh, okay. There's totally. a difference. Oh, That's gosh. funny. Oh, oh so my gosh. gosh. <laughs> uh, okay, one more. One more. I'm thoroughly enjoying this conversation. One more of the coolest <laughs> gadgets, pet friendly, that we would blow our minds. Mm. I don't know. There's, there's well, we have useful stuff. I like, was going to say. What's really cool <laughs> is we have some stuff that works with your pet's microchip. Okay. Um, which makes total sense. And I don't know like how we weren't using this sooner. There's pet doors that will only let your your microchipped pets in that you program into the door so that you don't get like raccoons or neighborhood mm -hmm. cats. Like I just had a cat Ooh, come in my house. That, been <laughs> that really wasn't my cat. So yeah, <laughs> um, that's really cool. And there's like microchip pet feeders that only open for that microchip pet. So if you have animals that are on different diets, um, like that's I do. That's an awesome idea. Yeah, uh, that's really cool. Okay, okay. Which one of these do you think would be? Uh... That would have been helpful at our house year, years ago because uh, we had neighbor all kinds of neighbor hat cats coming into the pet door that was for the the dog that he was looking after so that might have been a really good thing and in my yeah. house it's the neighbor's dog coming in yeah. oh really uh -oh. yeah it's the neighbor's dog uh -oh. and another one i want to highlight and throw this to you guys the invisible fence has come a long way um since what 15 20 years ago um our invisible fence uh controllable um remote wise we were talking about this off air how about the right. uh the various shocks and or like, um, not punishments, what is it, ramifications? What is the word we would oh, use for well, this? Well, okay, so types of correction. Yeah, we, correction. Maybe. Types of correction. We were talking about this at Animal Connection um, earlier today. And what 
the phrase is now is it's not a shock. It may be a correction, but it's almost like a subtle reminder. Right, before, a nudge. Before what happens, happens. So yeah. a lot of people are not using it as like a big shock, but just like a little buzz. It's like, hey, you know, I, you can't I'm, do this. I'm getting your attention there's back a, on me. There's a right. warning so, right. sound before it actually right. so, and, administers the static stimulation, right. I guess is what they call it. Right. Um, Put it in perspective. I mean, we have the warning sound first. We have the the electric shock. I've heard of the high buzzer one, mm -hmm. um, the mm -hmm. high pitch noise. The high pitch noise. And yeah. then you mentioned one off air that I didn't realize was it the citronella? Oh yeah, yeah. There's an alternative. Um, That's for the people that really are very mindful of yeah, their. Yeah, I think what it is is it's a bark collar though. So okay. Yeah, oh, it's yeah, different bark from collar. Barking, different yeah. from the gotcha. underground yeah. fence, but. Um, That's what we need. Yeah, it, uh, it can, you have the choice of spraying a puff of citronella in your dog's face or, or just an unscented puff of just air, right? And it's by, rem by phone remote or by remote? Those are specifically when your dog barks. Okay. Oh, yeah, any time the dog the barks? Bark. Yeah. Really? Yeah. Yeah. All right, all right. I don't so know if I would use that. It, it, so it doesn't work for some people. If your dog right. wants to bark all day long, yeah. you're going to run out of that citronella probably. Right, and it's just one day. to the dog. Um, <laughs> and I'm not a big fan so, of spraying an oil. But back to no. the right. Yeah. <laughs> Oh, interesting, yeah. interesting. Either back to the whole static, static correction with um, shocking or what, what have you. Um, a lot of dogs apparently learn to just respond to the sound. So you, you can actually cut it off so it doesn't shock your dog. That's and, hope. and just play the warning sound and the dog having been shocked once or twice before. Well, the dog learns. Uh, has learned. Right. Yeah. It's the buzzer, um, the buzzer noise. Ours have learned. Well, last question I'm going to throw to you and then jump in the mix here. How have you seen, and this was kind of the premise of the program, how have you seen, maybe anecdotally, how dogs have impacted positively company culture at Crutchfield? You've touched on it a little bit. We have some people now watching that weren't watching in the beginning. How has it positively, Emily, impacted culture? I would say, um, I said when we came in, like we're kind of uh, often kind of quiet people, mm -hmm. and um, our floor, our creative floor at Crutchfield can be very quiet. Is it and earbuds in, everybody? A lot of people, because yeah. we sell nice headphones, <laughs> yeah. a lot of people have really right. nice headphones, yeah. and we're all working away. Um, but it's a really nice way, like you can tell when a dog comes through, it's like everybody's like, oh, and they interact with each <laughs> other. Cool. It's like an icebreaker. <laughs> um, it's a, not only just a way to relieve tension, we talk to each other, not just the dog. Um, so it's just a really nice way to interact with people too, and just a starting point for that. I love it. We see that with Liza, Judah. When Liza comes mm -hmm. out to greet people, kind of brings everybody together. Same question for you, uh, Deja. Yeah, um, I personally, like I, I've probably talked to a lot more people than I would have because they had dogs. So it's just a nice icebreaker. I think you might have said that already, but um, no, really, that's that's been a big benefit because yeah, I just I go nuts when I see certain dogs and. <laughs> You know, and then I'm like, well, hi, how are you? Just a person. <laughs> oh, yeah, a person. <laughs> yeah, right. um, but mm. I've gotten to know a lot of coworkers that way. And, um, well, we see that animal connection. It's just, it's nice when they visit. I can't bring my dog all the time. Why, she's, why not? She's a little unruly. So I just, I it, I bring her sometimes, but I have to hold on to her the entire oh. time. She's a she's a great Pyrenees, and she's one year old. That's and a big dog. That's a big dog. She like loves everybody, and she's <laughs> pretty vocal. And uh, so I bring her once every couple of months. So I love to see other people's dogs because I have dogs withdrawals through the day. Oh my gosh. You, know. you see that well, at Animal um, Connection. Yeah, and you know, another thing that's helpful with you know, dogs in the workplace is it kind of helps you plan your day. I mean, everybody needs to get up from their desk and walk oh, yeah, around, so yeah. now you've got a purpose to walk around. Mm -hmm. Or go walk at lunch, you know, rather than, you know, chowing down somewhere else, go take mm -hmm. your dog for a walk or yeah. something like that. You know, it helps people point. get a little mind break and get outside and get moving a little bit yeah, too. It's really neat to yeah. see actually how it affected our our salespeople, um, which I'm not in sales anymore, but I used to be. And, and when I Spanish was, sales. Yeah, Spanish sales, <laughs> yeah. Um, but there were maybe one or two dogs on the sales floor back then, and I would be really happy to see them. But nowadays, like you, you go down there and there are like four dogs on each aisle. Um, and that's like, so those people are getting to know each other. They're taking breaks out with their dogs. Um, you know, they're, it, it's pretty cool. And they're getting the exercise that you mentioned, getting <laughs> oh, a break yeah. from looking at the computer. Yeah. Yeah. And uh, I think Crutchfield could be a winner for this contest. I think they could. I think we, yeah, we need to get in our contention for sure. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> in in get some this. pictures up there. Remind me when I get home. <laughs> yeah. You got 
48 hours. Yeah. 48 <laughs> hours on, on the Animal Connection We're good Facebook with deadlines page. there. That's yeah. good. <laughs> right. Uh, best place to work, best dog-friendly place. The most dog-friendly place to work in Seville. Yeah. In That's Seville. what we're looking for. In Seville. And you have a lot of entries already. I know. Who's really? the front runner? That's Do we have a front runner? Oh, I don't know. I haven't really done a count, but you know, there's been a there's a, a dog a, and people supplement company that's been pretty active, and then a lot of individual dogs. You know, just like maybe the one dog in an office, and and, uh, and then Liza. Liza's amazing. Liza is amazing. She's a rescue from caring so, for creatures. Right, she is. So. Um, yeah, I don't know. We'll see. I'm not going to even think about it until tomorrow. When are you going to make the announcement? Friday. Friday. And we'll probably deliver the prize, you know, next week. We'll find a day that it suits everybody and f figure out oh, how many dogs are in the workplace. You know, we went, did a gas station one year. I mean, one year we had a, um, a gas station that had seven dogs that would come to the office every what? day, and they won. And then there was a hair salon that had matching pugs, and they were pretty cute. And that was... I mean, you just never know what you're going to get. I love it. I and then the it. ranch where I, I go ride in the summer, they have working dogs, so they always enter their dogs. You, know, you never know what you're going to get. I love it. I love it. What's barking local, guys, on the I Love Seville Network? She's Emily from Crutchfield. I said Deja. I'm sorry. It's Deja. Hi. I apologize, <laughs> sincerely. Uh, they are copywriters and an editor, copywriter and editor from Crutchfield. Mm. They get to test the product, which I think is so cool. Oh, yeah. Um, and I've thoroughly enjoyed conversating with you guys. Thank you for joining us. We yeah, appreciate yeah, yeah. you. Um, and, Animal Connection. And don't forget, Friday is free Frozen Treat Friday at Animal Connection. Oh. When you come in, you're going to get Frozen Treats for your dogs. Oh, wow. There you go. In the McIntyre <laughs> Plaza. Yes. Yep. Right behind Seville Coffee. Yes. 17 years and counting. The water Here cooler for animals <laughs> in Central Virginia. Yes. Thanks to her entrepreneurial vision. <laughs> uh, what's Barking Local Wednesdays at 3 on the I Love Seville Network? Put it in your phone. What do we have in store for next week, Patty Bowden? Oh, goodness. Toughest question I asked you right here. <laughs> it is. Put, put me on the spot. Um, I have no idea. We'll let them know on social media. <laughs> it's, it's on our webpage. I have got a complete blank. We will let okay. you know on social media, the show yep. in totality, archived on animalconnectionva.com. Correct. Um, and we will cross promote it for 30 days on the I Love Seville Network and on ILoveSeville.com. Thank you very much. Thank you, ladies. Thank, Thank you. you. Uh, we will see you guys next week for What's Barking Local at 3 o'clock. Take care. Good work. All right. Okay. Good work. That was super fast. Yeah, it did. Good work. Good work. Good work. Oh, now I know it's minutes. next week. Duh. What is it? Fetch a care. Oh. Yeah, steel dogs, the big dogs. I forget. Mm.